Oh, what up, YouTube? My name is Tyler, and today we'll be taking a look at the MP7 submachine gun. As you can see, this is your standard all purpose SMG, maybe leaning a little bit more towards close range combat than anything else, but how about instead of looking at these stupid little dots, we get into some cold hard numbers? So, as I said before, this is an SMG, and it is already unlocked by default as soon as you unlock the option to create a class at level 4. It has a fire rate of 900 rounds per minute, or 1200 rounds per minute if you're using the rapid fire attachment, which is unlocked at weapon level 14, but uh, we'll get to attachments in just a second. It has a standard magazine size of 40 rounds per clip, with 120 extra rounds to carry around in tandem. Extended clip adds an extra 14 bullets to your clip so you can carry 54, and again they give you a full 3 extra clips alongside that for 162 extra bullets. This gun's maximum damage is 33, while its minimum damage is 18, so if a bullet from this gun makes contact, it will do at least 18 points of damage to the enemy. While carrying this gun, it would take you exactly 1.12 seconds to whip out your knife, stab someone, and get back to ready position. Let's take a look at some reload speeds. So here's the, uh, the gun, it's absolutely naked, there are no attachments on this gun, and as you can see it has a fairly fast reload speed of 1.8 seconds, which is to be expected from an SMG, so here it is in very slow motion. And the way that I time this is I start the timer at the very first frame that the animation starts and end it as soon as the crosshairs reappear. Here is the gun's empty reload speed, so this is reloading from a totally empty clip. And you can see that it's uh, a pretty decent time at 2.4 seconds, here it is in slow motion. So this just goes to show how much time having an empty clip is on the reload adds to your reload time. And now one last time, here is the fast mag reload speed, as you can see it's lightning fast, 1.2 seconds. So that fast mag is definitely worth considering when you're creating your glass with the MP7. Pay close attention to this next clip, because if you blink you just might miss it. Boom, there it is, a 0.2 second aim down sight time. And now next up is even faster, if you can believe it, the aim down sight time of the MP7 with the quick draw handle. Yeah, it's that fast, 0.1 seconds. You don't even have to worry about how long that takes because you can't react that fast. Here it is in slow motion, and I assure you that this is as slow-mo as a go-mo. So just a quick recap here, we have a reload speed of 1.802 seconds, an empty reload speed of 2.4 seconds, a fast mag reload speed of 1.235 seconds, aim down sights in time of 0.2 seconds, and a quick draw aim down sights in time of 0.1 seconds. Alright, so now let's talk about some attachments. The MP7 submachine gun has a total of 15 attachments. We'll start off with the reflex sight, which is unlocked at gun level 2. It adds both accuracy and a very small amount of range to your shots, and is always nice to have when aiming down sights. Next is the laser sight, which is a must if you plan on hip firing, since it increases accuracy significantly and gives you the added bonus of the laser lining up with your target, a little bit of a visual reference. Despite what the dots say, I'm almost positive that this increases the accuracy of the gun more than the reflex sight, but that may just be because one is for aiming down sights and the other is hip firing. After that is the suppressor, which does bring down the gun's stats a little bit, but enemies will not be able to see you on the minimap when you fire. It also gets rid of the telltale muzzle flash of the MP7, and you unlock that at level 4. The fast mag, as you saw earlier, greatly increases the weapon's reload speed, and doesn't affect the stats otherwise. You can unlock that at weapon level 5. The EO tech sight is unlocked at level 6, and it's basically a glorified holographic sight from Modern Warfare 2 that supposedly also affects the range of the weapon, although I haven't tested that myself. At level 7 you'll unlock the foregrip, which does a pretty decent job at reducing the recoil when aiming down sights, and it also improves the overall accuracy of the gun. Level 8 will get you the quick draw handle that we saw before that brings the aim down sights time on the MP7 down to just 0.1 seconds, so it's a good choice for people with lightning fast reflexes that can quickly get on target. Next we have the full metal jacket at level 9, which increases the bullet penetration power of the gun and lets you shoot people through walls more effectively. The dots also claim to increase the damage of the weapon, but I'm not 100% sure if that's accurate, and I might update this video later if I find out which is the truth. After that comes the long barrel at level 10, which gives you an increased range with your shots. Not much else to it. 
Then there's a target finder at level 11 which highlights enemies in the scope when you're aiming down the site, which is pretty useful for anyone who might be playing on a standard definition TV or monitor just to give them that clear signal that, you know, yes, there's an enemy there, shoot him. And starting off the last five attachments is the adjustable stock which lets you move faster while aiming and it can be unlocked at level 12. The extended clip attachment gives you 14 extra bullets at level 13 and doesn't affect any stats. At level 14 you'll get the select fire which can turn this into a burst fire weapon which is great for accuracy or if you're playing on a more open map than usual. Then there's the rapid fire attachment that you can unlock at level 15 which is probably one of my favorites just because of how ridiculous it is and you'll see what I mean in just a minute. Finally at weapon level 16 we have the millimeter scanner which can detect a heat signature from enemies that just stand still. It's kind of hard to explain in words how this works so go look up some gameplay with it if you really want to know what it looks like. Alright, so now let's take a look at the hipfire spread of the MP7. Keep in mind there are no attachments on this gun, so no rapid fire, this is just pure MP7. And as you can see, it's a decently tight spread for hipfire. If you were to run into an enemy in close quarters, you're probably going to drop him. Unless, of course, he has the drop on you. But yeah, as you can see, it's nice, tight ovals, neatly packed, not too much spread all over the place, which is good, considering most submachine guns have a very wide spread. Alright, here we have the aim down sight spread. So, this first one I kind of mess up and aim downwards a little bit, so it's very, very, you know, all in one spot. It looks like it's, <laughs> it looks like it's amazing. But uh, here I, I get a little bit better, obviously. I should, probably should have recorded this again, but, you know, as you can see, it's 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 pretty much only vertical. It maybe goes up a little bit towards the right a bit, but I think that uh, that spread right there is the most representative of the aim down sight spread for the MP7. So this is the hip fire spread for the MP7 with the laser sight attachment. As you can see, it's actually a lot more compact than just the regular hip fire, which it should be, since they said it does increase the accuracy while hip firing. So yeah, as you can see, I think again that third one is uh, third one's a lucky charm. That one seems to be the most uh, representative. So now we come to my favorite attachment: rapid fire. Just look at that thing; it is ridiculous. You empty a whole clip in like I don't know. I should time that. But <laughs> look at how wide the spread is. It's crazy. That's why I love it. I don't have much to say about the aim down sight for the rapid fire, but you better be holding on to something when you pull the trigger. Because I mean, look at that, it's ridiculous. It goes up and to the right at almost a 45 degree angle. You, you almost definitely need to burst fire this thing if you're not two feet away from them in order to hit them. It's crazy. Now I know what you're thinking. What about the gun camo? There are 15 camos for the MP7. The dev guru camo is unlocked after 5 headshots the ATAX AU at 10 headshots, the ERDL at 15 headshots, the Siberian or Siberia camo is unlocked at 20 headshots, the Choco or Chocolate <laughs> is unlocked at 30 headshots, Blue Tiger at 40, Bloodshot at 50, Ghost Tex at 75 headshots, Cryptek at 100, Carbon Fiber at 100, Cherry Blossom at 100, Art of War at 100, Ronin at 100, Skulls at 100, and Gold at 100. Well, you might be thinking to yourself, that's a lot of camos to unlock just for getting 100 headshots. Well, that's because you would be right in assuming that that's a lot. Actually, there are some additional challenges that need to be completed in order to unlock the last six camos for this weapon. So basically, you have to get 100 headshots and, for the carbon fiber, you have to get 30 revenge medals. Cherry Blossom, you have to get 150 kills with no attachments on the MP7. For the Art of War, you have to get 150 kills with no perks whatsoever. For Ronin, you have to get at least 20 double kills. To unlock Skulls, you have to get 10 Bloodthirsty Medals. And for Gold Camo, you have to unlock all other camo. That's it for this episode. I had a lot of fun making it, and I hope you enjoyed watching it. These videos take a long time to make, so I would appreciate it if you could leave a like if you enjoyed the contents of this video. Also, be sure to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.